Welcome to the first episode of Short Circuit, the shortest way to wire a circuit to help absolute beginners. Today we are looking at the MCP23S17, a GPIO port expander over SPI. This is a 28 pin dip and it was extremely intimidating to me whenever I was first getting started. I've done a little pre-wiring. I've hooked up eight LEDs to represent the eight bits and on either side, so we have white and green, which gives us our 16 GPIO pins. I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the last two on each side just to kind of demonstrate. So these actually represent a byte on each side, eight bits, and um, they are addressed in the registers as bank A on this side and bank B over on the left. So, all right, I've got those all wired up now. So we'll move, <coughs> we'll move on to the next pins on the right side. We have two interrupt pins. I'm gonna wire those way out here on the side because we're not gonna use them today because they're a little more sophisticated and we are strictly doing the most simple setup. Next is the not reset. So we're gonna go ahead and wire that one to uh, pop to to power so that we're not resetting while we're using it. Uh, the next three pins down on the right side are the address pins. If you'll read the data sheet, it's really obvious as to what these do. They complete the hardware address, which allows you to have multiple port expanders and differentiate them by setting different values here. Uh, I'm going to set them all to zeros, so it's very simple for our example. Uh, it'll also be reflected in the source code I'm handing out with this on my Bitbucket account. Alright, now we flip over to the left side. The next pin down from the bank is the power pin. This is where the chip gets its power, so we'll put it right to the power rail. And then we've got ground comes next, so we'll just take that and we'll set it to ground. Uh, after that, we're going to have the chip or not chip select. So we'll put that here. Whenever you want to write to it with from the Arduino, you just set it to low, and then this chip will be selected and it'll be listening on the SPI line. Um, next, we're going to hand we have the S clock. So this is the SPI clock. We'll set that. We're not wiring these to anything just yet because they're going to go directly into the Arduino. Uh, and then after that we have master out, slave in. This is how we're going to communicate with the chip today. And we have the final pin, which is master in, slave out, which we won't be using. So we're going to remove the ones we're not using today. So we take master in, slave out, and the two interrupt pins out. And now we have what we're working with. Uh, down here at the bottom, I've got the power and ground. I'm going to wire those directly into the Arduino. No magic here, just like it sounds. I'm going to use the 5 volt pin and then we take these three and we wire them up to these pins 13, 11, and 10. 13, 12, 11, and 10 are all dedicated to SPI. Um, 13 is the clock, 12 is the master in slave out, 11 is master out slave in, how we'll communicate with the MCP. Uh, and I selected 10 myself to be the chip select. So that's what it takes right there. We'll go ahead and power it up now and we take a look and you can see it's looping through each one of the GPIO pins and letting it turn on and off quickly. Uh, like I said, I'm sharing this code so it'll be out there for everybody and I'll have a link for it on the YouTube site. 